what's up guys today we got a uh, attack force knife the uh, model number will be obviously in the title and when you get this knife it's gonna come with uh, nothing else no paperwork or anything like that it's gonna come in this uh, box in a plastic little sleeve I just took that off for the purpose of time for this video Now, probably when you get this knife, the first thing you're going to notice is the uh, grips. Um, they're a diamond-shaped type grip, and they're really actually grippy. Um, I've wet my hands with water. I've wet them with uh, fake blood. And they, they seem to hold up great. Uh, when I'm holding it like this, I don't seem to have uh, any problems with the grip. When I'm holding it like this, though, at the very end, I, it seems to want to slip forward out of my hand. That's probably just because the weight of the blade uh, and gravity trying to pull it out of my hand. But if you hold it like this, you ain't going to have a problem with it. Now, if you come up here and look towards the blade, it's a two-tone style blade. Uh, the flat black and then the uh, uh, stainless steel th showing through. On the back of the blade it has um, some saw blades, but they're fake saw blades. I mean, I can rub my finger here all day and it would just, it wouldn't even break the skin. Uh, so these are just for show. It's a uh, Bowie or Bowie knife style uh, blade, however you want to say it. It's a partially serrated blade. The serrations come fairly sharp and the blade kind of sharp. And I'll do that with a paper test right now. As you can see, it does not come razor sharp or even paper cutting sharp. Just get that out of the way. Now on this side of the knife, or on this end I should say, it comes with a uh, glass breaker. I've tested this on about one inch thick glass and then I've tested it on actual window glass and it does break it. Uh, on the one inch thick, you're going to have to grab it and slam with a decent amount of force. On the window glass, all you got to do is put it on it and push with a little bit of force and it'll definitely break. I have not got a chance to test this uh, seatbelt cutter right here, uh, but eventually I will and if I do, um, I'll put an update video on this. This knife is spring assisted, so you gotta practice, or I'm sorry, press this uh, back lever back here and then the blade will come out. Uh, yet again, it's not an auto knife, it's a spring assisted knife. So this may be legal in your area, and it might not be. I don't know. Uh, before you buy any knife, you should really look up the laws on it. On this side of the handle, we have a pocket clip. It has a U bent down shape with a curve off. And this pocket clip, it's a, I would say, medium stiffness. Um, for some reason, because of this U shape, U, sorry, U shape, it wants to grab on my pocket too much, and uh, I just find it inconvenient to carry, just for that fact. I, when I put it in, it's kind of smooth. When I take it out, it just wants to grab on anything, um, even just thin, thin, thin clothing. Uh, it just wants to grab it for some reason. If they had a shape to where it would just be like this and came down instead of going down and up and out, I think that would be way more effective pocket clip. But anyways, that has been all they're gonna say about this knife. If you want to get this knife for a uh, an everyday carry knife, um, I wouldn't suggest this knife in particular. If it's all you can afford, uh, by all means, go ahead. But I would suggest this knife for uh, something to put in your car glove box. So that if you ever get in an accident and you're in the, uh, obviously, the front passenger seat, you know, open it, grab this out, cut your seatbelt if you need to, and break the window. And then you can help uh, any other members that may be in your car at the time out also. So if you guys like this uh, review of the knife, go ahead and thumbs up, subscribe if you already haven't. I got uh, a few more knives to review, and I also have some uh, gun reviews coming up on the way. So until then, see you next time.